Cooper is at from just short of the length that David Gower can. He's had a superb summer. Oh, oh he's got through in there. Trying to drive, it was up. And that's a wicket that Australia needed and a great one for Dennis Lilly. The challenge was thrown down by Gower. You can see it coming. The great bowler got through in with one. Swung off the pitch. What a beautiful delivery in the finish that uh, it never moved until just before it hit the deck and that's David Gower out bowled over the 25 is two for 45. Thompson working on that ball and he's uh, really fired up this afternoon and he's back and generating a lot of pace. the angle coming in and then leaving it it's unfortunate to get a touch on that uh, is Tabaret but it's a wicket for Thompson it's England's third wicket down for 47 Dennis Lilly to Alan Lamb there's an appeal there from Lilly he's out Lamb is up for a duck that ball staying down and they're catching Alan Lamb right in front so Dennis Lilly picking up two very important wickets, David Gower and Alan Lamb. Lamb didn't look too happy about this one. It looked uh, as if it looked back a little bit. It might have been that Lamb thought he got an inside edge. It was good bowling. And, and there is Anvil Strike waiting on Carl Rackerman, who unluckily not playing in this match. He's at the top, Ian Botham second. And Jeff Thompson down at the bottom there. One wicket every 36.75 deliveries. He's gone straight down. He's dropped it. Wow, could you believe that? David Hooks, the Sook Fieldsman, Chapel, the greatest Sook Fieldsman probably ever, or one of the greatest fielding a deep fine leg. Hooks at first slip. It went straight down his throat. He put down what could only be described as a straightforward catch in first class cricket. 